All right, welcome back to The Figure Trap. My name is Saga, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Retro Wave Ben Riley Spider-Man. That's right, let's get this guy out of this here package and onto that table. Let's do this. The Figure Trap, Trap. All right, packaging time. Boom. We know we got this awesome retro packaging with the name and Spider-Man across the top like the animated series. Big window here. And yeah, a little pitch there. Got everybody else in the way back here. Uh, that Hobgoblin looking like a boss right there. Uh, yeah, got a write up. You want to read it? Pause it. There you go. All right, let's stop dilly dallying and get Get this guy out the package. All right, let me start by saying I don't know that much about the Ben Riley Spider-Man. I didn't read the comics at that time, so I'm not really sure what the story is other than Spider-Man was in exile and then he came back and went under the name Ben Riley and looked like this. And I only know that because I read the back of the package, man. And if you would have paused it, you would notice, man. Anyway... I do really like how this guy looks. I think he has a real like animated series kind of vibe to him, even if the logo is a lot different. But yeah, I'm glad they gave us this version. I'm, I'm happy with the look of this figure. Let's get into looking at this figure closer. Just these arms. All right, you can tell that head looks very, very retro. Looks like it came out of the Japanese cartoon. Uh, yeah, and then we have his uh, spider emblem. His uh, web shooters down here. One thing about these fingers is that I noticed that they're really like bendy compared to even the, the hands that come with it, the extra hands. All right. And then we got like webbing on the outside and blue on the inside. All right. All right. Of course, we can see those pins. See how that is? Yeah. All right, though. Yeah. Overall, the aesthetic of this guy is freaking awesome, man. Yeah. I can appreciate a good Spider-Man that looks like this. Let's get into articulation. All right. Let's get into this articulation. Let's see. His head goes up that much and down that much. But look at this separation. Wow. Actually, look at this little like peg slice cut thingy here. Like, yeah, it lets him get his head up a lot. But if you're fo taking photos from the back, you might notice that. Yeah. All right. Tilt. A eh, little bit. Eh. All right. We got the butterfly. Ooh, that was stiff. All right. We got the butterfly joint there at the arm. And then let me try to twist this guy. I think it's just really stiff right there. But yeah, that's a, your standard joint. Goes up that high and is really, really tight. So just be careful if you pull yours out of the package and you start twisting on it because this is taking me a little bit. All right. So, yeah, we got the butterfly with the rotation at the shoulder. And then we have the bicep swivel. And then we have double. Count them. One and two double jointed elbows. And then we got the thwip hand that goes uh, front to back. And... Same with the other side, front to back. All right. Put your hands in the air. All right. Okay, and let's check out this ab crunch. Yeah, as you can see, that goes from centipede to spider. Centipede man, Spider-Man. Centipede man, Spider-Man. Centipede man, Spider-Man. Yeah, and the same thing on the back there. You can uh, adjust it. Although there's a little separation there. Mm, don't like that. Uh, nothing at the waist there. Get some tilt, though. And it's cool how that logo kind of stays in place when he tilts. That's uh, that's nice how they did that. All right. Thigh cut. Double jointed knee. You know, we got... It goes up that high. All right. Get the crazy, crazy angles like any good Spider-Man would. All right. Leg goes up that high. It goes back that far, and yeah, yeah. Let me adjust the instrument. Yeah. All right, so you can get cool poses like that. Yeah. All right, straighten that out. All right, and then down here we got a boot cut, and you can see the pegs, but eh. right that much forward, 
that much up. And yeah, that is the articulation on the Ben Riley Spider-Man. All right, let's take a look at these accessories, man. So looks like we got a pair of wall crawling hands there. Yes, very nice, very nice. I like the aesthetic of those. And then we have whoop, a couple of punchy hands. And that's it. All right, here we have him next to Marvel Legends Electro and Marvel Legends Venomize Miles Morales. Yeah. All right, and here he is next to Blue Deadpool and Jean Grey from the Age of Apocalypse. And you can kind of see that he's about Deadpool height. All right, so what do I think about this guy? Now, this ain't exactly the, a figure I would ever ask for. But you know what? I'm really glad to have it. Um, any Spider-Man that looks more like the original, like clean blue and red, I'm in for, man. I mean, I like all the other versions too, but this the, this color combination right here is my jam. So, uh, yeah, I like it a lot. Um, articulation's good. Um, it's got a lot of cool things going on. That little weird cut in the back of the neck. Not sure how I feel about that. Little light on accessories. But otherwise, oh yeah, yeah, and the pins, showing the pins still, man. Uh, but other than that, man, it's a, it's a fun figure. It's a really good figure. Uh, I recommend that if you're on the fence, you just do it because this is a good figure. And as you can see, it has perfect balance. Look at that guy. All right, I'll catch you guys on the next one. The figure trap, trap, trap.